now I'm like hands peeling into this woman's little Mazda Miata. And I'm like, give me the answer. Hi, my name's Steph Tolev, and this is the time I scared the shit out of a woman while high on mushrooms. I'm from Canada, and this is in grade nine, I hung out with the, I don't want to say the bad crew, but they weren't, you know, I started smoking weed heavily and dipping into other things. So it was my friend Steph's house, another Steph. We would go every weekend, her parents would go away, they lived on a yacht, I guess they had money, and every weekend we'd just get fucking high as hell. I'm not sure if I can swear, but I just did. And so this one specific day, they decided to bring some mushrooms and some absinthe. Now, this is a combo. Again, grade nine. Grade nine, you're young, you're impressionable. You, you haven't done things properly. You shouldn't be doing all these things together. So there's six of us. Start with the bombs, immediately high as hell. Then the absinthe comes out, and then a bit of mushrooms are getting passed around here and there. We're having little sprinkles, little tastes. Doesn't taste good, tastes like caca, tastes like shit. So we start having this argument about when you smell something, like if you're in science class, when you do this, the smelling motion, if you're wafting it or wafting it. It's waft. It is, it's clearly waft. We get in this back and forth. At this point, again, the mushrooms are kicking in. Everyone's getting angry and tripping out. And the absinthe is still, we're lighting the shots on fire as we're taking them and then still, we get so heated. We need someone to break this. We need someone to break it. At this point, it's two in the morning. I think I'm gonna go out to the street. Now, this area is in a small area in Toronto, it's called East York. It's kind of in a little cul-de-sac area. Not heavy traffic at two in the morning. It's the summer, it's hot. I'm a very wet woman for some reason all the time. So I'm sweating now, the drugs have kicked in. I'm outside, a wet boiled ham. Standing, just waiting for a car to go by. I'm so, I don't, I'm not wearing any shoes, I'm not wearing any socks. Whoever was gonna drive by would think that I came out of a well and just, I, I looked like I was a woman that was missing for years and no one, no one cared to look for me and I finally found my way out. I see this car, I see these headlights beaming at me and I'm like, there's my chance, I'm gonna get, and again, so high on mushrooms. So I'm thinking that I'm being very pleasant and I'm like standing there going, okay, waiting for the car and I'm probably like, <laughs> this fucking ape. I thought, this woman pulled up her car and I just went tap, tap, tap on the window. I was like, excuse me, ma'am. May I ask you one's question? But I believe uh, it was me going, stop the car, I need that, and just freaking out. So this woman terrified, terrified woman. I think she was wearing like a button up shirt, had her son, this like 14 year old boy beside her, this young kid that was like staring at me, scared shitless. She rolls her window down an inch. Cause again, I look manic right now. And I'm like, roll it down more. And she was like, oh my God. She, she thought I was gonna fucking kill her and her son. So the window goes down another hair and I go, when you go like this, is it waft or is it wake? And then she didn't answer me. I'm like, I need the answer, I need it now. And she's like, please leave us alone. And then it, it, for a split second, I was like, oh my God, I'm so fucking high. I'm scaring this woman. But I was like, no. I need the answer. I'm like, give me the answer. So now I'm like hands peeling into this woman's little Mazda Miata. And I'm like, give me the answer. She peels off. And then there was like a long beat of my friends looking out the window, just me standing in the street. And I'm like, oh, I never got the answer. And then I walked back inside and they're like, what the fuck just happened? And I'm like, I, I'm like, Ace, hey, so we'll never know. <laughs> we're, we're never gonna, I know it's off, but we're never gonna know the answer. And then we're all at this point now, Forgot about that completely. That didn't even happen. I'm like, okay, let's go finish off the night. So we go back inside. And then my friends thought it was the perfect time to watch the movie Kids. Now, a lot of you are probably too young to know what this movie is. It is the worst movie in the entire fucking history of the world. If you want to never have sex for the rest of your life, watch the movie Kids. When you're on mushrooms and a man comes out on a skateboard with no legs, singing, I have no legs, stuff happens. Stuff ha you start thinking you have no legs, nobody around you has any legs. I go, I'm putting myself to bed. The whole movie is all about AIDS. I now, I have, have, I have an AIDS phobia and I have the rest of my life because of this fucking movie. I go to bed, I have like fucked up dreams. Obviously my legs are gone and I feel something in my back all night and I think there's something, something's trying to cut my leg off or something. I wake up, my friend had left her dildo on her couch. Also, this is grade nine. I don't know why the fuck she's screwing herself with a large dildo in high school. That seems a little drastic. So I pull out this dildo that had been wedged in my back all night. And as I like look at the dildo, I remember it, I'm like, I scared a woman last night. I go, that wasn't a dream. I, I terrified, and like for months after that, I would be so scared. I was gonna see someone pull by with her son. If you're listening, I'm so sorry. I, I don't know what to tell you. I, but if it's waft or waves, if you could let me know what, what the proper pronunciation is, because we're still, we're still trying to find that out. But again, I'm so sorry. Tales from the...